Good morning, everyone. This is Leslie Jufless back on your daily five for another segment. And today, um, I'm going to be showing you five different time frames. Um, I'm using the QQQs. Last time I was here, I showed you a large pattern uh, on the daily charts on the queue. So I'm going to follow up with that pattern. And I'm going to show you how I do some analysis when I'm looking at a large pattern and how I scale down time frames and what I'm looking for for possible confirmation or non-confirmation of that pattern. So let's get um, started. Oh, here's a couple books. If you like this stuff, you can find these books um, on Amazon, except for the second one, but I'll show you how to get it at the end. Okay, so here is the pattern on the triple Qs. Um, so let's walk through this real quick if you haven't seen this before. I use specific pattern recognition in my trading and these patterns um, show up on all time frames daily, all the way down to like a one minute chart. This uh, on the left side was a butterfly cell pattern and it got a retracement down to this 0.618 where this dashed line is. Um, as it got down to that retracement, another pattern formed from there. It was an A, a B, a C, a D buy pattern. And the market turned up from there. And we're now up at this larger A, B, C, D in a butterfly sell pattern. Now, I know that the market's in um, an uptrend, but I want to show you some things that I look for that look like possible turning points um, and correction uh, when corrections might start. Okay, so let's start on the next chart here. So we've seen the pattern on the daily chart. Now I'm scaling down to a 60 minute chart. And on here, we can see where that last leg of the pattern, the CD leg from the daily chart, where it's completing. So I can see on a smaller time frame how price looks up around that completion area. Because when a pattern is at a new all time high or especially larger patterns, I don't think it's a good method to just get in there and you know throw in an order. I think it's a really good practice to use the multiple time frames for, as I said, confirmation or non-confirmation of a pattern. So this gives me the information of um, also looking at a couple of indicators. So the MACD here on the daily chart, there, there was no divergence of any type, but scaling down to the 60 minute, I can start to see that there are some divergences starting to form on the 60 minute, the MACD started to see some lower highs on the MACD with uh, the price um, coming up, making new highs on the, on the triple Qs. And the RSI you can see is also at the top of the range. Now the RSI currently is still in a bullish range. So it's important to remember that divergence says they don't always mean that it's an inevitable turn or reversal in price. Prices can go sideways um, and work off divergences that way, or they can just sort of stall and then continue in the direction of the uptrend. And we never know what price uh, is going to do. So it's best to monitor the price and control the risk, but we can never control the price. So this morning, the Dow um, Jones and the S&P are negative, and the Dow has not made new all-time highs yet. So we have a divergence with an index. So again, as traders, you know, managing the risk is the most important thing to do, and I think this technique will give you some ideas of how to do that. Now I also have on this chart, I have this yellow circle marked in, and this is a gap area here. So I have that marked in so I can watch price if it turns down and see how the price reacts to this gap, because in theory, this should be a support area. So let's now kind of scale down to another time frame. Let's go down now to the 15 minute chart. 
On the left side here, this is where we can also combine patterns in time frames. There was uh, back in June, about mid-June, there was this ABCD buy pattern on the triple Qs that showed up on this 15-minute chart. Now, at this point, that larger pattern, I could already see on the daily chart that that pattern was potentially forming with completion areas you know, up around here. So this type of buy pattern can sort of lead you, point you in that direction towards that completion area. And this is a perfectly tradable type of a pattern. But now scaling down back to our big daily pattern, here I've got marked in with this blue line, I can see where the completion point is. So as prices um, approach that area, I can see how the price is behaving. So I'm looking for things like, is price just totally you know, slicing right through that and continuing to the upside, where I know obviously there's still strength, right? Or if it's getting up to this area and it's starting to stall, or it has a sharp turn to the downside. So I'm watching for things like that. Now this morning, the triple Qs came up to this completion. They exceeded it just a bit. And then they were just hovering around this price. And I believe now they are have turned a bit to the downside. So that is definitely something that might be an early um, clue to this larger pattern. So um, the gap area, again, from the um, 60 minute chart is now marked in here. So I can set, get even a, a closer view of the price as it approaches this gap area. The RSI, it turned up a bit this morning. So it's up in the upper part of the range now, but the MACD histogram here is not, you know, has not exceeded these highs over here. So it's still not, um, you know, coming up as high as you would want to see for confirmation of continuing to the upside. So that might be another early clue. So let's scale down now to a five minute chart. So we've used a daily, a 60 minute, a 15 minute and a five minute. Now this one I updated just a little while ago. And I think it, uh, when I looked last, I think the price had gotten even a bit lower than this. So here is where the daily sell pattern completion point is. Um, and so, you know, a lot of times it's traders, you know, we want to know what is the market going to do? Well, over the years, I've had to really um, get out of thinking that way. I don't know what the market is going to do. I use specific patterns. And all I know is that I can control the risk by using this method. And I can manage the trades by using this method but I never know what the market is going to do. And that's why the book, Trade What You See, <laughs> the title is um, so relevant to this type of pattern recognition. So now that we're on this five minute um, chart, now we can clearly see on the smallest time frames that some divergences are forming. And divergences and the momentum shifts are always going to show up first on the shorter time frames. And if it's enough of an impact, they'll work their way out to the longer time frames. If it's a smaller impact, then you know it might go from a five to a 15 minute and that's it. And then that uptrend continues. But we, we can see that we're seeing divergences on the five minute, started to see a little bit on the 15 minute, and now as price progresses, we want to start watching each higher time frame to see if divergences are forming on that. So the um, gap area from the 60 minute chart and 15 minutes, so here it is now. And if again, if price comes down, there is a gap up this morning, you can watch that one too. They want to really see how this holds because this should be a support area. <clears throat> Doesn't mean it will, but the expectation is that some support will come in here and the market can sort of bounce up. If there's a total failure at an area like this, then again, that can also be a clue that the market is um, turning and that that pattern 
is uh, now turning to the downside and it can give you an area um, for entries and you can control the risk. These are gonna be the earliest entries with the smallest amount of risk using this type of um, pattern recognition. And then from there, you can just manage the trades accordingly. Now, longer term um, traders, let me go to another chart here. This is now a weekly chart. Now we're gonna scale way up. Longer term traders can use this or investors, um, they can use this to manage portfolios because here we can clearly see on this weekly chart, we can clearly see this pattern, the ABCD cell pattern. What it does, we don't know for sure. But if it starts to get on a longer time frame, say you get some sort of bearish engulfing pattern, some very bearish candle here, that can help long-term investors manage their investments as well. So um, I prefer to use this method of identifying you know, some patterns. I see them on the long-term charts and then using these shorter term time frames to help me um, assess the price behavior around those completion points, uh, find the earliest entry areas and also manage um, the, the risk. Okay, now I put in one last chart at the last minute and that's the S&P because I wanted to show you this as well. So we have um, the S&P 500 has this particular, this is a cell pattern up here, this 1.618. This is an intraday chart, but it's showing um, some data all the way back into um, June. So we had some cell patterns, another cell pattern, we had some buy patterns, and here's the last buy pattern and then up to these extensions. Got just a little bit of a jiggle here. That's okay for day trading. But again, for you know, a little bit longer term retracements and corrections, um, you know, this is the type of setup I want to look at. So here um, again is we have a you know a bar, a bearish bar to the downside. So this can help. This is how you can you know learn to control your risk. So it's like, where should the price not go? It shouldn't be going back above that right now if it's going to be bearish. So these are the patterns that um, I have for you today. We have divergences in the indexes, and I'm going to be watching the triple Qs and the NASDAQ, which has a similar pattern uh, against uh, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones to see um, how much of a turn we start to get here. Well, that's it. And thanks for um, joining me. Let me just show you, if you like this kind of stuff, just come to my website right here. And there's a three and a half hour course. It's kind of an introductory course on this for you. You'll get a very good taste if you like this or not. And you'll get this book with it. So thanks for joining me. I'm Leslie Juflis with Trading Live Online. I'll see you on the next Daily Five. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.